Now this video talks about vitamin A. If you want to follow along with me, please feel free to do so by going to page 95, 2012, first day. Okay, first of all, we are going to be talking about the function of vitamin A. The first thing that comes to my mind whenever I'm thinking vitamin A is that it's an antioxidant. It's an antioxidant. The other antioxidants, which are also vitamins, are ACE. Vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin E. Okay, That's the first one. Vitamin A can also be used uh, to differentiate epithelial cell. Okay, it's used to differentiate epithelial cells. It's used to differentiate epithelial cells. And give me an example, how would that happen? Well, for example, it will differentiate normal epithelial cells to, let's say, pancreatic beta cells or mucus cells. It will differentiate the epithelial cells into their specialized, uh, specialized type of cells. Okay, that's another function of vitamin A. What else? Well, since it differentiates epithelial cells, what it also does is it's used it's it's used for growth and differentiation in children. It's used heavily for growth and differentiation of children of the epithelial cells. Okay, what else? Vitamin A is used in one type of cancer. It's called AML. And which subtype of, subtype of AML is vitamin A used in? It's M3. Now, here is an interesting thing. AML makes immature cells. Okay? And we give them vitamin A, and vitamin A turns these immature cells into mature cells. Once they turn mature, they don't cause cancer no more. They're okay. All right? So that's how we treat AML. What a wonderful way of treating AML, right? We don't even need to use other drugs that's out there. We can just give them vitamin A. Okay. Now, vitamin A also prevents squamous metaplasia. Okay, it's going to prevent, prevent squamous metaplasia. Now, deficiency of vitamin A can cause squamous metaplasia, and I can give you two specific examples of it. When you have squamous metaplasia, at the follicular cells of your body, you're going to have hyperkeratosis. Keratosis. Now, hyperkeratosis is going to look, look like goosebumps. Uh, permanent goosebumps on your arms, on your hair follicles, okay? So that's one type of squamous metaplasia. The other type of squamous metaplasia happens in the eye. Eye usually has cuboidal cells. And once you have squamous metaplasia, you're going to look, th these are going to look like white patches on eye. This is going to make the eye soft, and that term is called keratomalacia. I should say cornea rather than eye. It's really the cornea. Okay? There, there will be softening of the cornea leading to keratomalacia, and keratomalacia can eventually, this is the softening of the cornea, right? The cornea becomes soft. And this can eventually lead to blindness. Okay? This can eventually lead to blindness. So that is squamous metaplasia. Last of all, we have, uh, for R, we have retin uh, retina. I, the retina makes uh, vitamin A becomes an important component of the retina. The retina of the eye has two components, idopsin and rhodopsin. 
these two components are made up of retina and retina is is helped to make by vitamin A and how can you remember that as retina vitamin A right so these are some of the functions of vitamin A now let's talk about deficiency I just remember one more squamous metaplasia uh, example so I just wanted to talk about that before we moved on to deficiency now vitamin A can also cause bronchogenic bronchogenic carcinoma now bronchogenic carcinoma happens due to squamous metaplasia from the cuboidal to squamous metaplasia so a patient who is a non-smoker with vitamin deficiency can have squamous metaplasia leading to bronchogenic carcinoma that's a third example of the squamous metaplasia okay so now let's talk about deficiency now deficiency is kind of repeat, repetitive in a way because whatever is the function whenever the function is not there you're gonna have deficiency so if you have squamous metaplasia we're, you're gonna lead to follicular hyperkeratosis which is going to look like goosebumps in your arms bronchogenic carcinoma due to squamous metaplasia you can have um, blindness due to uh, keratomalacia due to nyctalopia or night blindness due to lack of retina in your eye you can have blindness if you ha don't have antioxidants you're more prone to having more diseases you are going to age uh, really fast or your child might not grow as would have ad as a child would have grown normally your cells are not going to divide as much you're going to have less growth in general AML cannot be treated without vitamin A so that's another thing that's very important and your epithelial cells will not differentiate if your epithelial cells don't differentiate imagine what's going to happen in your GI tract where you need constant shedding of the epithelial cells so those are the uh, those are the things that can happen in a case of deficiency of vitamin A now that we talked about deficiency let's talk about toxicity now the best way I can think of doing toxicity of vitamin A is starting from the very uh, from the top of the head going down so I'm gonna start with brain what toxicity is vitamin A gonna have in the brain now vitamin A makes CSF okay so if you take excessive vitamin A you're gonna have excessive CSF which is gonna cause um, cerebral edema okay you're gonna have cerebral edema and you're gonna see this how are you gonna see this you're gonna see this cerebral edema you know in kids you're gonna see hydrocephalus okay you're gonna have a new in a newborn you're gonna have hydrocephalus you're also gonna see cerebral edema in a child it's not sorry not in a child in in a person they're gonna describe a hunter who went beer hunting okay and ended up eating the beer liver and the liver is very rich with vitamin A okay comes to the it comes to the emergency department with severe headache okay that's because he had all this liver which was filled with vitamin A which caused a cerebral edema due to increased CSF giving him lots of headache so that's because of increased CSF now due to increased CSF you can also have papilledema okay this increased CSF can be so severe then you can have a brain herniation and it can eventually lead to death okay that's how severe this uh, increase CSF will be so be careful whenever you're taking lots and lots of vitamin A okay so that's brain what about liver vitamin A can also cause uh, liver toxicity it can cause so much liver toxicity that you can go into liver edema and eventually liver failure okay you can die because of liver failure so it can also cause uh, liver failure now where are you going to see again uh, this kind of ideology you're gonna see this 
uh, someone, let's say a patient who is, you know, a young girl who's taking vitamin A for acne and she can have liver failure, you know, due to taking too much vitamin A. So again, they can have liver failure or they can have uh, cerebral edema. Either one of them, you know, can happen or both of them can happen at the same time. Uh, we use, you know, because vitamin A prevents squamous metaplasia, we use it for acne. Uh, to, to prevent uh, metaplasia, we, we, use, we, use, we use it to treat acne. Okay, so the drug that we give for supplementing vitamin A Someone who has acne is called isotretinoin. Okay. Now, isotretinoin, you have to be careful when you give isotretinoin to a female. Because if she is pregnant, you cannot give her excess vitamin A. Because it is also contraindicated. Excess amount of vitamin A is also contraindicated in pregnancy because it can lead to, it's actually teratogenic. Teratogenic. And this can lead to, um, this can lead to um, cleft lip and palate. Also, it can lead to cardiac abnormalities. Okay, it can lead to cardiac abnormalities. All right, this is this is what that this is what can happen if you give it if you have excess vitamin A giving to a pregnant woman. Okay, now these are some of the big ticket uh, topics. Now let's talk about the other ones, which some of the other causes of vitamin A toxicity. With vitamin A toxicity, what kind of skin changes are you going to have? You're going to have skin changes, hyperkeratosis. No, sorry, hyperkeratosis happens because of deficiency. I really don't know what kind of skin changes happens with vitamin A excess. So if you know, please, uh, please let me know in the box below. So you can have skin changes. Uh, you can have alopecia or baldness, right? You can, you can go bald from taking too much vitamin A. Who, who would have thought, right? Um, so those are skin changes. What about joints? You can have arthralgia. You can also have arthralgia from uh, vitamin A. All right, so th those are the toxicities for vitamin A. If you know any more, please let me know in the box below. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video.